Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the PSLV C60 Spadex mission, which is scheduled to launch on 30th December 2024. The Spadex mission is a technology demonstrator mission for the demonstration of in-space docking using two small spacecraft launched by PSLV. This technology is essential for India's space ambitions such as Indian on Moon, sample return from the Moon, the building and operation of Bhartiya Antariksh station, bus, etc. This mission will be a major milestone for India's space program. If successful, it will make India one of only a few countries capable of performing in space docking. This technology will be essential for future space missions, such as building a space station or sending humans to Mars. The challenges of this mission include the need to develop a reliable and accurate docking mechanism. The need to ensure that the two spacecraft can rendezvous and dock in space. The need to control the two spacecraft during the docking process. What are the benefits of this mission? The benefits of this mission include The development of new technologies that can be used for future space missions. The demonstration of India's capabilities in space exploration. The inspiration of young people to pursue careers in science and engineering. The PSLV C-60 SpadeX mission is a challenging but important mission for India's space program. If successful, it will pave the way for future space missions that will benefit all of humanity. The SpadeX mission is scheduled to launch on 30th December 2024 at 2158 hours IST from SDSC Sher, Sri Rikota. The mission will consist of two small spacecraft, about 220 kg each, to be launched by PSLV C-60, independently and simultaneously, into a 470 km circular orbit at 55 degrees inclination, with a local time cycle of about 66 days. The demonstrated precision of the PSLV vehicle will be utilized to give a small relative velocity between the target and chaser spacecraft at the time of separation from the launch vehicle. This incremental velocity will allow the target spacecraft to build a 10 to 20 km inter-satellite separation with respect to the chaser within a day. PS4 Orbital Experiment Module, designated as POAM, refers to the usage of the spent fourth stage of the Polar Synchronous Launch Vehicle, PSLV. It provides an opportunity for the scientific community to carry out certain in-orbit microgravity experiments for an extended duration of up to three months using the POAM platform, which otherwise would end up as space debris immediately after the mission objective of injecting the primary payloads of the mission. Such experimental payloads serve as precursor experiments to validate various proof-of-concept and enabling technologies for future missions. PSLV C-60 SpadeX mission is the fourth POEM mission, in short POEM 4, in the series. A total of 24 payloads will be flown in this POEM 4 mission, of which 14 payloads are from ISRO DOS centers and 10 payloads are from various non-government entities, NGEs, comprising academia and startups that have been received through in space. This is a significant threefold increase in the capacity of POEM as compared with the previous POEM 3 platform, wherein it had hosted only 8 payloads. The following are the highlights of the 24 POEM 4 payloads. The 14 ISRO DOS payloads from various ISRO centers and units consist of 5 payloads from Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, VSSC, Thiruvnanthapuram, 4 payloads from Space Physics Laboratory, SPLVSSC, 3 payloads from ISRO Inertial Systems Unit, IISUVSSC, 1 collaborative payload from SPL and IISU, and 1 payload from the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, IIST, Valiamala. The 14 payloads from ISRO DOS centers primarily focus on the validation of enabling technologies and proof of concepts as precursor experiments for future ISRO missions. They include robotics experiments such as the walking robotic arm through inchworm walking from IISU, debris capture robotic manipulator from VSSC, sensor development such as gradient control reaction wheel assembly from IISU, multi sensor inertial reference system with in house gyroscopes from IISU. MEMS-based high angular rate sensor from VSSC, new electronics such as lead exempt experimental system from VSSC, highly configurable onboard common controller from SPL, space science experiments. From SPL such as electron temperature analyzer, IDEA V2 switch of electron density, neutral wind and Langmuir probe, 
Plastum Software Model for Ionospheric Studies from SBL and IISU, Laser Firing Unit and Laser Initiation Pyro Unit from VSSC, Compact Research Module for Orbital Plant Studies from VSSC, and Pilot G2 Payload from IIST. The 10 payloads from NGEs consist of the study of various spectra of science and engineering, such as growth of plant callus in space from Amity University, Mumbai, green monopropellant-based propulsion system thrusters from Bellatrix Aerospace, Bengaluru, another green propulsion, hydrogen peroxide, based 1.1N thruster from MS-2 Space Technologies PVT Limited, Mumbai, generation, capture, and processing of synthetic aperture radar, sir, Images from Galaxy Space Solutions PVT Limited, Bengaluru, MEMS-based Inertial Measurement Unit, IMU, Sensors and Arm-based Microcontrollers for Attitude Measurement from MIT-WPU, Pune, Demonstration of Operational Capability of the Onboard UHF Transmitter by Establishing a Reliable Communication Link with the Istrakisro Ground Station from NSpace Tech, Andhra Pradesh, In-Orbit Demonstration of SIR in a CubeSat Form Factor from Pearsight Space, Ahmedabad, Measurement of growth kinetics of a gut bacterium in space from RV College of Engineering, Bengaluru, providing amateur radio satellite services globally from SJC Institute of Technology, Karnataka, in collaboration with APAC, Upagraha Amateur Radio Club SAT, URSC ISRO, and India's first artificial intelligence lab, AI lab, in space from Take Me to Space, Hyderabad.